Today we are making soda bombs. So soda bombs are something I invented, and it's basically an exper a science experiment to be able to get liquid soda from water. So you drop the bomb in the water, and then you'll be able to get soda. And it utilizes citric acid and baking soda, because the baking soda and citric acid combo will get carbon dioxide to reform from the interactions, and then it'll create carbonation. But usually the carbonation doesn't last that long, and so you can't make soda with it. But when you make bombs, which then you can drop in water whenever you're ready to drink soda, you don't. the carbonation doesn't really need to last that long because you're drinking it right away. So it's perfect. And so this is just a fun science experiment. You can make anything you want. And if you don't have citric acid, you can use cool, unsweetened Kool-Aid mix because it's basically just citric acid with flavors and colors. So that takes care of this plus any flavorings you'd like. And I like to use fruit flavorings. So first, you're going to want one cup of sugar. And to that, you're going to add four teaspoons baking soda. And it, it may sound gross, but you can't actually taste the baking soda. I formulated it with just the right amount of sugar, citric acid, and baking soda to water that you won't be able to taste anything. And then you also want the same amount of citric acid. And you can find the ingredients in the description box. And then, if you don't have citric acid, just use the Kool-Aid mix. And then you're ready for the corn syrup. But because I'm using citric acid, you're going to want flavorings. And if you want, you can add optional food coloring. And this will make four bombs. So if you want more bombs to store for later so you can put some in water whenever you want, just multiply this recipe by two or three so you can make enough. Now I'm going to add some cherry flavoring. That's the one I want. I've also tried it with grape unsweetened Kool-Aid mix, and it, that one tastes really good too. Just drop some flavoring in. And then we're going to want one half teaspoon corn syrup. And this is barely any. It's just enough to be able to get the sugar moist so that you can pack it into a bomb. But if you use water or more corn syrup than this, it will be too much. If you want to add some food coloring. Just mix it together. You don't have to use a fork, you can actually just use your hands. But make sure they're clean first. And it's not going to be very wet, it's just going to be kind of as moist as brown sugar so that you can pack it. And now, you're just going to want to take, each bomb can be about one-fourth cup. So I just like to take a one-fourth cup and pack it. And then you can just leave it like that. And you can use the bombs immediately, but if you want to store them, you're going to want to let them sit for a few hours so that they harden, so you can um, pick them up, so you can pick them up harder without them breaking, and so you can pack, put them in a air top tight bag, Ziploc bag, and store them there. And you can use them immediately, but I, or you can just let them sit. Dry. So you're going to want to use about two cups of water for one bomb. So you don't have to be too precise, but you do want to make sure it's about that. So I've already measured two cups of water in this, and it goes to about here in the cup. So once, once you use a cup and measure two cups of water, you can just fill it up from there. Just make sure there's some space left in your cup, so use a big cup, because these will explode in the water, so... And then let's change. Mmm. And yeah. Soda bombs. 
I hope you enjoy, and remember to look in the description for more instructions. Bye!